Hey there, Microsoft Sam here. Today we are gonna go through a top 10 list of Duke Plus features. I initially overviewed Duke Plus in my previous video titled The Wacky Way to Play Duke Nukem 3D. If you haven't watched that video, I recommend watching it before watching this one. So, aside from akimbo pistols and wielding enemy weapons, Duke Plus is packed with dozens of cool features, and now we are gonna delve into my top 10 list of said features. Let's start with number 10, Weather Modification. In the environment settings on the Duke Plus menu, you can choose between rain or snow, and adjust the weather severity by editing the number values. You can even change the color of the weather particles. Number 9, Double Enemy Count. In the enemy settings, you can enable double monsters and extra ammo to make the game more challenging. Number 8, Enhanced Enemy AI. In the enemy settings, you can enable enhanced enemy AI. One of the things that a lot of gamers don't like about classic FPS games is the stupidity of the enemies. So here you go, Duke Plus offer is a fix for that. Number 7, Shrinker Alt Fire. In the weapon settings, you can enable Mind Blast Alt Shrinker, and it's actually enabled by default. Shooting enemies with this alt fire will turn enemies to your side for about 5 minutes. The recruited enemies will attack any other enemy they see. I know it's nice to have friends, but you might want to kill them before they snap out of it. Number 6, Monster Capsules. In the weapon settings, you can enable a feature which replaces the laser trip mines for monster capsules. Monster capsules resemble pipe bombs but their function is entirely different. When you throw a monster capsule at enemies, it will suck in the nearest enemy, trapping the enemy inside. You can pick up the loaded capsule, as you would with a regular pipe bomb. When you throw the loaded capsule, the enemy will be released, except, now the enemy is your comrade and will remain so, for as long as it survives. If you ever wanted a Pokemon mod for Duke 3D, here you have it. Number 5, Hollow Duke Bots. In the player abilities settings, there's a feature which enables the hollow dude to actually spawn a dude bot to fight alongside you. You can spawn two bots with one hollow dude. If you're fighting smarter enemies, having something more than just a holographic projection will definitely come in handy. Number 4, Night Vision Plus. There's a feature in player abilities which enhances the night vision goggles. The enhanced night vision goggles allow you to see the switch puzzles, so that you don't have to guess them. Yeah, cheating is usually fun. Number 3, Mandling. This is one of the best player abilities in Duke Plus. Who would have thought that the build engine could even support such a thing? What sucks is that the jump height is lower with this ability enabled. Number 2, Pick up and throw objects. Yes, Duke Plus ports a Half-Life ability to Duke Nukem 3D. Come on, you couldn't ask for a cooler ability. Number 1, Gravity Gun. Not only does Duke Plus port a Half-Life 2 ability to Duke Nukem 3D, but also a Half-Life 2 weapon. There's a weapon setting for the Microwave Expander, which turns it into a Gravity Gun. Now it can blow and hold objects and launch them, or simply shoot them, just like the Gravity Gun from Half-Life 2. And yes, it can kill enemies. So, that's my top 10 pick for the best Duke Plus features. What do you think is the best Duke Plus feature? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.